Hey guys, I'm Stacy, and welcome to the Retro Time Machine. And today, we're gonna make an American flag that has a little bit of jiggle. Need a showstopper for your next patriotic event? Well boy, do I have a dessert for you. It takes a little bit of time and effort, but it is absolutely worth it. You are gonna need a vodka of choice, some sweet and condensed milk, Optional is white food coloring. I didn't use it. Well, star cookie cutter, clear gelatin, red and blue jello, a big old bowl for a jello mold, and a cookie sheet with a little bit of a ridge to make our stars. To make our white gelatin, we're going to need to bloom two tablespoons of clear gelatin with about a half a cup of water. Go ahead and just drizzle that on top. And you may need to add a little bit of more water so that gelatin can fully soak in and start to bloom. While you're waiting, now is a perfect time to grease your cookie sheets and jello mold with a little bit of coconut oil. That's just gonna help everything release whenever you're making your stars and removing your jello. Start by opening a can of condensed milk and dumping that into whatever vessel you choose and making your white jello in. I like something that I can put on the stove top in case I want to cook it a little hotter and really get that gelatin to dissolve. Go ahead and add one cup of boiling water into your condensed milk and mix that up really good so we can heat that up. And then we're going to put this one on the stove top just as an example and add in our bloomed gelatin to the mixture and cook that down until everything is nice and combined. At this point, you can go ahead and add half a cup of alcohol. I suggest coconut rum. It goes really good with that creamy flavor. Once your gelatin has fully dissolved, we're gonna go ahead and carefully dump it onto our cookie sheet that has a little bit of a ridge. And see that little weird gelatin glob? Go ahead and grab him and just throw him away. <laughs> While our white jello stars are cooling, we're going to go ahead and make our blue jello base. So we're going to add our blue gelatin and a cup of hot water. We're also going to go ahead and bloom some extra clear gelatin and add that in there so everything is nice and firm and holds up together really well. Once that's cooled for a little bit, you can go ahead and add half a cup of vodka. I recommend Bomb Pop Vodka. It works perfect for a recipe like this. And then after that, you're gonna add one cup of cold water. Now that our star jello has chilled, you're gonna go ahead and punch out 50 beautiful white stars. It'll take a little bit of time, but it's actually pretty fun and satisfying, and you can eat the extra jello left over, which is so worth it. I'm just dropping in a few of the stars now, and I'm actually gonna pop this into the fridge and let it gel up just a little bit, so the stars kind of sink and float and have more of a dispersed quality versus all just sinking to the bottom. Here you can see they're falling a little slower and standing up a little bit more. You don't want your jello to cool too much, because obviously you still wanna be able to stick the stars in, but you want them to be separated and really unique looking. Now while our blue gelatin is cooling, we're gonna go ahead and start making our red jello. I'm gonna do one package of red jello and I'm gonna do one package of sugar-free dark cherry just so I can get a really strong red color and again have more gelatin. That way we're not gonna bloom any for this recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of hot liquid and a half a cup of hot water and mix it up and let that cool down nice and easy. And then we are going to go ahead and add in our vodka of choice and also we're going to go ahead and add in some cold water one cup go ahead and repeat the white jello mixture and we're going to finish these and let them cool quite a bit before we put our stripes on top of our stars whenever you're pouring these make sure you let each layer sit really well or else you may get a little bit of bleeding through the layers as you'll see right underneath that red one but just take your time and make sure to measure out evenly It'll look beautiful and it'll be so worth it. Now, like any great jello unmolding, it is a bit nerve wracking. You're gonna fill a basin with hot water and let that sit, kind of pulling around the edges. You can see I was able to get the molds release, and I was pretty nervous, I'm not gonna lie. 
but when I flipped it, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. I know we all love a good jello smack. I was to make this jello again, I think I would have started off with a white layer. You can see it's a little hard to tell the difference before the jello is cut, where that white, red, and blue define, especially on that blue and red mark, but it still turned out absolutely beautiful. She is absolutely thick and fantastic. Oh, look at that beautiful slice. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And please guys, this 4th of July, be safe, drink responsibly, and don't do anything too terribly stupid. And like always, take care and God bless.